My name is W.Y. Choi, Solution Manager of Fujitsu Hong Kong. Today, I will give you a brief introduction to different types of server. Then I will talk some about technologies and major train in this field in order to help you to choose the right server for your business. Let's take a look at the different type of server first. Generally, we can divide the server into three types. Tau server, red mount server, and blade server system. For the Tau server, it is an all-round server and is good for internal disk and I.O. card expansion. Since there is not too many restrictions on the installation environment, you can put the Tau server in a data center or in the office area. It is very suitable for SME without their own data center. For red mount server, it is the most common type of server using by business enterprises. The basic function and features is the same as the tile server, but it have a better force space and energy efficiency. However, the red mount server must be installed in a proper data center or computer room. For the Blade Server system, it is the most recent types of server. There are four basic components, Server Blade, Infrastructure Blade, Management Blade, and System Chassis. Each Server Blade is a physical server, and the Infrastructure Blade is used for the external network and storage connection. The Management Blade is used for the control and monitoring. For the System Chassis, it is used to house all the above three types of Blade. One of the advantages of Blade Server system is to reduce the required force space and power consumption in the data center. For example, the Fujitsu Prima GBX series spray server system can support up to 10 server blades in a single traces and provide around 50% reduction on the force space and power consumption. And also, the blade server system is very suitable for the server virtualization and consolidation solution. As you can see, as you can see, different type of server has their own advantage. You can make your own choice depend on your specific needs. If you still unsure which type of server is suitable for you, you should look for an experienced consultant to help. When IT manager plans to purchase new servers, performance is one of the key selection criteria. With that in mind, multi-core technology is certainly the trend in processor design and expect to help to improve the server performance. Multi-core technology combines several cal calculation cores into a single IC chips. However, the multi-core technologies can only improve the CPU power, which is only one of the key factors to determine the overall server performance. In order to achieve the maximized server performance, we also need to focus on the I.O. subsystems. Let's imagine there is a racing car with super turbo engine. It is impossible to achieve its greatest power of the engine on a busy road due to slow traffic. In order to achieve its top speed, a highway must be in place. Server development is the same. Server is the racing car, multi-core CPU will be the turbo engine, and the IO subsystem is the highway. A high throughput IO subsystem can avoid I.O. bottleneck. For Fujitsu Spark Enterprise Server, a high-speed core spark which can provide more than 700 gigabyte data exchange power is developed by Fujitsu and ensure smooth data communication with this, within the server and provide the maximum power of your server. In fact, performance is one of key areas on server development that Fujitsu has been focusing on. Multi-core technology is still the major trend in server development. As the enhancement of semiconductor technologies, more and more calculation core can be put into a single IC chip. For the Spark processor, Fujitsu is developing a, a new 8-core Spark 64 CPU with 45 nanometer technology. Technology. From our point of view, we notice that there are three other areas of server development. Reliability is actually the cornerstone of all types of server. We can see that server reliability is being improved by introduced new, new technology, such as new error detecting and correcting features and advanced cooling system. Error detecting and correcting features can ensure the server is always running smoothly and cooling system can prevent overheating of the server. Virtualization is a well-proven solution to effectively reduce the number of servers, required floor space, power consumption, and management resources in the data center. We believe server development will continue to be optimized and give
give the best of virtualization technology. Last but not the least is Green IT. With rising energy price and concern of our environment, IT vendors like Fujitsu pay attention to produce green products. At Fujitsu, cutting-edge technology has been developed to further reduce the power consumption and heat dissipation of our server. These two major factors have a strong cost impact on business. For the Fujitsu Prima GTX120 server, it is the smallest and lowest power consumption server in the world. It is one of our super green products and meets a very high standard green rules and regulations. As more government and customers are stepping up their actions to protect the environment, we see the demand for green IT on the rise. And this is where we can contribute to deliver value for our customers. Today, we have covered three topics, different types of servers, server technologies, and important trend of the server development. I hope this brief introduction can help you to determine your server strategy to achieve your business goal. My name is W.Y. Choi, Solutions Manager of Fujitsu Hong Kong. Thank you for joining me today.